Hello, my name is Dr. Dewan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the ECG of right ventricular hypertrophy. What is right ventricular hypertrophy? Our heart has four chambers, the left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium, left atrium. So when there is hypertrophy in the wall of the right ventricle, we call it right ventricular hypertrophy like this. This is normal heart. This is the heart with right ventricular hypertrophy. Okay. Hypertrophy means the increase in the size of the cell, not increase in the number of the cell. What are the causes of right ventricular hypertrophy? Right ventricular hypertrophy may be a consequence of pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary valve stenosis, tricuspid incompetence, ventricular septal defect. Fellows tetralogy. Fellows tetralogy has four components. One is pulmonary stenosis. Second one is ventricular septal defect. Third one is the dextroposition and overriding of the aorta. And fourth one is the right ventricular hypertrophy. So, right ventricular hypertrophy. Is associated with fellow tetralogy. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, may lead to may lead to pulmonary hypertension. It is also associated with right ventricular hypertrophy. Pulmonary emboli may cause small small pulmonary emboli may cause pulmonary hypertension may lead to right ventricular hypertrophy so ecg of right ventricular hypertrophy the right ventricular hypertrophy there is a large r wave in lead v1 normally s wave is much larger than r wave in lead v1 S wave in V1 is smaller than the R wave in right ventricular hypertrophy. When right ventricular hypertrophy is present, the large R wave of V1 gets progressively smaller from V2 to V3 to V4 onward. Okay. So, right ventricular hypertrophy, large R wave of V1 gets progressively smaller there is right axis deviation in the frontal plane and also there is also rightward rotation okay if we look at the ecg okay here typical right ventricular hypertrophy pattern okay are and the ratio between R and S is equal to and greater than, here it is greater than 1, this is the R, this is the S, okay. So R is to S is greater than 1 and meets the criteria, it may be equal to 1 also, equal to or greater than 1 and meets the criteria for right ventricular hypertrophy it, we check it either v1 or v2 here v1 v2 again r is to s ratio is greater than one at least it should be equal to one okay so greater than or equal to one here we are seeing changes in the t wave okay that may be to strain pattern st strain on the right ventricular wall will get this type of pattern because heart has some issue the right side of the heart has some issue then we'll get this strain pattern here we look at v1 v2 r is greater than s r is greater than s 
and that is the right ventricular hypertrophy. R is to S should be equal to or greater than 1. Here we are saying this V1, V2. Okay. So that's all about the ECG of the right ventricular hypertrophy. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please subscribe me. Please support my channel. And have a nice, blessed and wonderful day. Bye now.